Super Chicken Show me here, and it's time for the monthly Loot Crate unboxing for January 2015. And this month's theme is Rewind. I'm not really sure which way Rewind is, because I think I'm mirrored. I don't know anymore. But anyway, let's go ahead and crack this guy open. Probably some pretty cool stuff in here. I assume it's very nostalgia-based. But anyhow, the box is cool. I will say that. We got the shirt. There's a shirt this month. Shirts are always cool. And we got something I'm definitely going to wear. A Voltron shirt. That is really cool. It's a blueprint sort of design of the Lion Voltron. That is all sorts of cool. I do like me some Voltron. So it's always cool. Uh, what else do we got? We got uh, the Black Tie Geek. It's a square of some sort. How does this work? I pull on it. Hey, does this work? It's a legitimate tie. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't wear ties like for anything, but uh, if I ever need to, I now have a cool Space Invaders tie. So, that's neat, I suppose. Pretty cool. Not gonna lie, that is kinda neat. Impractical for me, but kinda neat. Um, here is the pin for the month, the rewind pin. Pretty simple, looks like the tape from Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, these were in a one-up box before, but now we have some pixel shades that have uh, the Loot Crate design on them. So that is always cool. Yep. I'm not going to wear these ones, however, <laughs> throughout the entirety of the video. Those, those are kind of neat, though. I will say that. They're kind of neat. Uh, what is this? A comic notebook. 64 pages of never-before-seen action and adventure. A notebook for when inspiration strikes, cartooning tips, and a tear-out balloon template for sight gags, character studies, and heroics. So it's basically just a blank notebook that is decoed to be like a comic book. And so you could actually just make your own comic or write notes in the squares for whatever reason. I don't know why you would do that. I would make it a comic book because that's what it's for. But anyhow, what is this? What is this? Uh... Analogy, Tendo, a Loot Crate exclusive. That's cool. I've heard of these before. Um, is it a figure? I think I think these are little figures that are designed after the cartridges. Do not run. Do not ack, ack, ack. Do not panic. So this one is Alien Attack. Which, none of these are actual real games. Uh, that looks like the Alien from Mars Attacks. But, what else is in here? Oh, that's neat. So it does come with little legs. I was right. I remember seeing these on the internet somewhere. Probably on ThinkGeek or something like that. But um, they got little limbs. And you attach the limbs. Does it matter which side is which? I don't think it matters. I think they're both the same foot. The arms are easy to identify. I wonder what ones you could have gotten. Unless they're all Mars attacks. Or alien attack, my bad. And that slides in the little zapper. That is so cool. Oh, I like that a lot. So there we go. There is our little guy. I like him. He's neat. He's my new buddy. Uh, here is the book for the rewind theme. We'll take a look at that because there's one other thing in here. The first issue of the Marvel Star Wars comics with a Loot Crate exclusive uh, front cover. They got the Loot Crates in little shipping containers. So that, that's cool. I, I do love these uh, variant covers for comics. Uh, that Loot Crate and Nerblock like to do. Those are always really fun. So we got a controller right there, retro NES controller. 
You can actually this this you can punch this out and use it for the box, I suppose. The box is designed like a NES. Uh, and that that's actually really cool. It's got I got slimed on it. Good old 90s Nickelodeon. Uh, rad dude with nunchucks, Michelangelo. Um, some squares. I don't know what the squares are referencing. But um, basically, it looks like you can unfold this. There's probably a picture in the in the magazine here. Uh, rewind through retro gaming. More retro gaming. The Mega Crate has a laptop. The Toy Nami uh, Diecast Chogokin Voltron. That I would like a lot. The Lego Death Star, a Canon uh, Rebel T5i. Uh, one of those off brand retro gaming systems that can play uh, like all the various games. It says Lego. That's not made by Lego, guys. And Star Wars The Complete Saga on Blu ray. So that's cool. It's got a nice article about Voltron in that as well. Uh, let's see, the Retro Arcade Skinny Tie. Uh, it's sleek and chic. It's Black Tie Geek. LOL rhymes. Inspired by one of our favorite early arcade games, a stylish skinny tie makes a perfect accessory for both guys and gals. Um, the Tendo figures. Oh, are you kidding me? There was a Doctor Who one and I didn't get it. Son of a bleep. I'm kind of mad now. I really wanted the Doctor Who one. There is a Doctor Who one that is designed after Doctor Mario. Uh, Alien Attack Fire Hunt, which looks like it's based off of Firefly. Uh, 1.21 gigawatts. Uh, that has a bunny on it. That uh, one's clearly Back to the Future. Uh, Corbin's Alley. Uh, I think that's Fifth Element, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that one. And then there's one that's gold. I don't know if there's a ratio or anything, but there's one that's gold up here. Uh, it has the flux capacitor on it that says the legend of the future. I don't know if that one's rare or not. They're retro, they're inspired, they're so analog. Some may think these miniature game cartridges are a thing of the past, but we think they still have legs and arms and feet and accessories too. Sitting three inches tall, these figures are inspired by your favorite NES console games from the 80s and 90s. Six in all, including a super rare gold variant. Some easy assembly required. Um, so this is going to be like those Mega Man ones where I didn't quite get the one I wanted. And I want a different one. So thank you. <laughs> uh, the Star Wars exclusive comic book. Would you look at that cover? Who else but Luke Crate could enlist Solo and Chewie to deliver our crates throughout the galaxy? We're not going to spoil the story for you, but they're definitely defenders of the crate. I might read that. An exclusive Voltron Blueprint shirt. Uh, whether you're defending the universe or defending your place on the sofa, you'll look great doing it in this uber-exclusive t-shirt design available... Exclusive t-shirt design available to a chosen few. You, the Loot Crate community. Its contemporary fit is soft and comfortable and flatters any physique. Even my big fat body. Uh, the comic notebook and the 8-bit glasses... Um, after you finish reading the Star Wars comic book one, create your own with this handy notebook that features blank comic book panels and stencils for dialogue bubbles and other shapes. Compact size fits in your back pocket. Your big ideas are all that's needed. 60 pages. And for the glasses, uh, for 2015, we're dressing you in all of our finer, fi on all, yeah. These stylish and durable 8-bit sunglasses will protect your peepers from the sun's harmful UV rays while upping your coolness quotient. They may look retro, but remember, orange is the new black. I see what you did there. Uh, so pretty cool crate, uh, all in all. So uh, in summary, uh, we got the comic book, which is always neat. I do love the exclusive comic books. Um, we've got the shades, which are, are neat. I would never wear them out, but they're, they're neat, I suppose. Uh, the comic notebook, which is pretty cool. Uh, the black tie uh, with the suit of Space Invaders. Uh, again, I would never really wear it because times I need a tie rarely come up. And when I do, it's usually a lot more formal to where I can't wear a Space Invaders tie. Uh, so I don't know if, uh, if that will end up getting used uh, a whole lot. But uh, this guy is the highlight of the crate. I like these little things. Um, I might have to make a custom sticker because I 
not that Mars Attack is bad or anything, but um, I would have rather had the Doctor Who one myself. But <laughs> uh, we will see. Maybe someone can trade with me or whatever. Uh, so pretty neat uh, all together. The shirt. I forgot the shirt. Where did I put it? I don't know where I put the shirt. I legitimately don't know where I put it. The shirt is somewhere here, and it is awesome. Love the Voltron shirt. So, um, props to them on this crate. I like it a lot more than I was anticipating. Um, I am still currently on the fence about whether I am going to keep up with Loot Crate or not. I've been doing it monthly, so I can cancel at any time. Um, I'm going to wait and see what next month's theme is. If it's something that doesn't really interest me, then I might back out of Loot Crate. Um... Around tax season, finances are getting pretty tight, and so I don't particularly want to keep investing the money uh, in a lot of these things if I don't necessarily have to. But again, if the theme wows me, if I know there's going to be product in there that I can't live without, then I might continue it. But for now, uh, Loot Crate is kind of on the fence. But we shall see uh, next month if I decide to go for it or not. So, as always, uh, thanks for watching. If you want to uh, subscribe to Loot Crate, there will be a link in the description. There will be a link down in the description below if you would like to do that. It is about twenty dollars a month, give or take, after shipping. Uh, so keep that in mind while you're ordering. So thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.